What's going on folks, Air of Carthage here, and we are back in another Total War Rome 2 battle. This one is going to be our good friends from the north, the Iceni, and they are going to be taking on Syracuse straight from the Mediterranean with that sun-kissed skin and uh, feeling like they've got life made out there in Sicily. So we'll go check in with them here in a moment. Let's take a look at the Iceni army. We're going to have some Britain scout riders. So these are just kind of a, a light um, support cavalry, a melee type cavalry. Um, interesting pick there. Usually we see the veteran riders for the most, or am I thinking veteran? Yeah, veteran riders. Uh, because I'm actually seeing heroic riders here this time. Three heroic riders. Veteran riders a thing. I was thinking they were a thing for uh, the, the Iceni. I might call them the Britons, by the way, by accident, so forgive if I do. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we, we're going to have four light horse and three heavy horse and a chariot. So this is going to be a mobility-focused Iceni army. This ought to be pretty curious. We've got a chosen sword band. So I imagine we're going to see a cheaper infantry line here. So chosen sword band, painted ones, sword band. Um, let's see. Sword band, painted ones, levy freemen, chosens. Yeah, so this is definitely a reduced infantry line. And against Syracuse, you can possibly afford this, depending on what they end up bringing. Painted ones, I believe, have like some kind of scare effect. Yeah, so they, they scare. Um, and then Chosen Sword Band are not a very offensive infantry, but they, they have good armor and they do some decent damage on the charge. Um, and then as far as the chariots go, these are not scythe chariots, um, but they can get a lot of damage done if they continually ping pong through enemy units, okay? So let's go take a look at Syracuse's army, and there is not really much by way of hoplites. We do have the general, and a thorax hoplite, and um, some Thurio spears, nice support units there to see on the flank. We've got a couple of citizen cavalry in the back. Um, I almost always call them by our good friend Maximus's name. He called them citizen cavalry, but with a four-letter word that begins with SH, replacing the front of it, and it was hilarious. <laughs> I enjoyed it very much, and it was an appropriate name. Uh, we've got three Tarantine cavalry out here, um, and then the main line is just a ton of thorax. Well, we have thorax swords, mercenary Samnite warriors here in the middle, and then more thorax swords, so heavy but relatively defensive sword units for Syracuse and a general who's also more of a defensive unit. Um, so this, this is going to be interesting. The Iceni have a lot of infantry to overcome. However, they have a lot of cavalry. Uh, the dogs were an interesting pick, probably meant to tie down skirmishers or other units, and the dogs can be useful depending on how you get them into combat. So let's see, the, the, the Iceni are charging down to the left flank of Syracuse, coming full in. That light horse kind of led the way. And now we've got the painted ones who are going to get a clean charge along with the dogs at the Thurio Spear. So interesting that they release the dogs. They're probably going to cause damage to this unit as it flees away. And then those painted ones are going to pull off that attack. Combined arms here, Sword Band and Levy Freeman going for the Thorax Swords. The Chosen Sword Band is defeating the Thorax Swords thus far. Here comes a heroic rider smashing in. It's going to be counterattacked by Thurio Spears. They won't do a ton unless they throw their javelins. This shouldn't be too bad of an engagement so far, as long as those heroic riders get out of there before they get too cooked. But look at this, the Tarantine cavalry in there just giving it to them with the javelins. Let's see if the painted ones get into action here. It looks like they got a charge and then pulled out looking for more. So they're going to be used as kind of shock infantry, both morale and charge-wise, which is a good choice. They excel at both. Uh, they're definitely not a grinder-type unit. And the Iceni are not engaging this flank, and then they've got a lot of units sitting in the middle that are just keeping an eye on that cavalry, but also means they can't be engaged over here. But they are doing a very nice job with their Tarantine cavalry. They they stuck it to those heroic riders and these other units here. And the citizen cavalry, give them credit. They're doing what they can. There's only so much they can do. <laughs> Here comes the dog handlers being thrown in there as well. Thorax Hoplite's helping to push through here. And then another citizen cavalry coming that way. The Chosen Sword Panda is not doing spectacular um, against the Thorax Swords. They've had some help. And then right here, the Sword Band is struggling to cut through the, the Thorax as well. So the Iceni are going to have to come up with some routes here, or else Syracuse may just outlast them. 
um, with the armor and the, and the defense here. Which, both stats are pretty decent for Thorax Swords. Uh, they're just not a very offensive unit. Um, that's one of the reasons why they tend not to do great in like a heavy sword fight, but these aren't heavy swords coming in from the Iceni. And then even the Chosen Sword Band that is a heavy sword, again, is not really a terribly offensive unit, except for on the charge. Um, it has to be on the charge, because its its melee attack is quite low. Its damage is good, but the melee attack is quite low. So, nice charges here. The Citizen Cavalry continues to fight back hard on this flank, and I haven't seen a clean engagement yet. Really, really looks like the Iceni are going to walk away with this. The Chariots are moving in over here. They're taking some javelins off the Thurio Spears. But it looks like maybe they're coming to assist in this vicinity. The chariots might scare as well. I can't remember. Parthian firewalls moving, resistant to fatigue. Uh, so they are not a scare unit. They can throw flaming javelins to get some extra morale damage done. Over here, the chosen sword band's doing much better against those units. Look at that sandwich of a rear charge right there. Those thorax swords are going to eat it from that scout rider. It's going to be followed up by Citizen Cavalry. And over here, the Thurio Spears have the Heroic Riders fixed for at least a moment. Let's we'll see what happened as those chariots rolled through. It looks like they're supporting over here. The Thorax Hoplite General is now going to be left with some Thurio Spears to defend this flank. There's some more Thorax Swords over here that are kind of going after the Heroic Rider General. Still some Tarantine Cavalry to help head that off as well. I mean, it says it's in favor of... Syracuse, and I, I agree at the moment that the Britons are going to have to find some way to turn this. This was a nice play right here. They got rid of one of those units. A lot of charges coming in here after these mercenary Samnite warriors, but the Tarantine cavalry followed it up to pin them in, and there's another Samnite warrior on the way, so that could get dangerous. Samnite warriors are very resilient units. Again, not great on offense, but very resilient. The Chariot unit's got 107 kills, which is pretty impressive. It's kind of rolling on through here. Shield wall being used by the Thorax Swords to try and stabilize their bracing and morale there. Got some dog handlers and riders still available, and it looks like the Chariots are now just going to be going and looking for engaged blobs to charge into. Let's see how they do as they, they charge into this fight. Getting a few javelins. But yeah, they're going to charge on in. Let's watch their kills here. They were at 140-ish. Jumped up not much against that cavalry. And they lost a chariot already to 150. It's having an impact, though, on morale there, that rear charge. Let's see what's going on over here with the rest of this infantry fight. I think the chariots just shattered. Yeah, nope, they came out of there. They're trying to come out of there. They got 165 kills, so they got a decent number of kills in there. I still don't see how the Britons are going to pull themselves out of this one, the Iceni. Sorry. Thorax Swords getting charged there. They're not going to be loving life. Uh, they did take the charge from the front, though. These dog handlers could be brought in. And then we've got some, like I said, very tiny regrouped units out there that could be brought back in as well. I mean, the Iceni getting some work done against these units. Thurio Spear back here in a square just pitching javelins in. You gotta love it. Chariots are still rolling. They've got 202 kills. That's It's impressive. Um, those are chariots. I thought they had heavy chariots. Did they have two units of chariots? Maybe I got the two confused. I'm not 100% on that. Interesting. If I see any other units fleeing that look like the heavy chariot. But regardless, I mean, it's still a pretty impressive haul there. So the Chariots picked up 250-ish kills. They're fleeing at the moment. The Heroic Rider General, uh, 122. It's going to be a potential wrap-up here in those Thurio Spears. Got multiple Riders moving in against those Samnite Warriors. So the Iceni are trying to claw their way back into this one. And honestly, they very well might here. It looked like they were out of this fight. But they managed to get those routes in the middle there. Very timely routes. Oof, that's gonna hurt. If the uh, general happens to go down here for the Iceni, it's gonna be very, very bad at this stage of the battle. 
don't know if these units are bugged or, again, if they just need to be brought back in and they've been forgotten. The chariot came back from routing. That could prove vital here. I like this. Go for the uh, this separated Samnite warrior and then allow your chosen sword band to come in here and fix this infantry and go for more of the same. We've got infantry squares and um, we've also got the shield wall for the hopways. Trying to increase their bracing and make them more survivable. And we've got more cavalry charging from behind. These chosen sword band ought to get a... I mean, they're very tired, but if they manage to, they'll get a decent charge bonus. Square there trying to interrupt the charge of the heroic rider general. I don't know, two heroic riders left. Good number of chosen sword band. There are some um, Syracusan units back here that look like they're starting to be reactivated. It looks like we got the other routing units reactivated for the Iceni here as well. It's still showing in favor of Syracuse, and that may just be the numbers effect here. I wonder if the general has died. It says the Thorax Swords are losing. Um, the chariots are just rolling. You can hear them getting orders over and over again. They're at 287. Comes another charge here. This one it looks like is direct. Ooh, yeah, the flaming javelins coming in. Now this is risky because it impacts the uh, the Britons, and they're the only ones that got hit by the flaming javelin. There somehow Syracuse did not. But it's an interesting play because it does potentially lower their morale further. That uh, general is not in good shape. And a nice interception of the regrouping Sam Knights here by the Iceni trying to keep them out of the fight. It's already got their morale wavering, and it looks like there's a chance they finish off this Thorax Sword. It is holding out amazingly well over here. Like, that, that is an impressive holdout by those Thorax Swords. I don't usually say impressive and Thorax Swords in the same sentence, unless I'm saying they're not impressive. Um, yeah, that, that, that actually was a pretty nice hold there by them. I don't think they're going to last much longer when these... Next couple charges come in. The heroic riders here hit those Samnite warriors. These ones managed to survive. So still a little bit of work to be done for the Iceni, but I like how the, the chariot here getting a chance to sit still. It's still fresh, which means it's going to be fast and able to keep charging. See these dog handlers? That's actually going to be super handy, just being able to fix a unit. And here comes those chariots for the rear charge. That is going to immediately impact the morale. And we saw a quick jump in kills there say that. Now it got stuck at 298, 299. Are they going to break 300? Can they do it? I think they will. There they did. They broke 300 and they managed to pull off the win there. So the Chariots actually ended up being clutch. I thought Syracuse had that one. I really did. I, I didn't think that the Iceni were going to be able to grind their way through that. So that was a pretty impressive comeback by the Iceni because the power bar was getting fairly close to army losses for them. So, a nice comeback. Interesting strategy by both players here, to be honest. It was kind of like trying to bury your enemy in heavy infantry for Syracuse. Um, but some decent cavalry support there, too. I mean, it's, it's about as good as Syracuse can put together. And then for the Iceni, it was a move away from your typical barbarian heavy swords into heavy mobility um, with the support of chariots. And, I mean, that chariot unit, 309 kills. That was some very impressive work. Triple chevron. One of the Chosen Sword Band did extremely well, and the Heroic Riders were also pretty valuable. So, very well done. Again, nice battle by both players. Costanza, which again is Sol Invictus. And by the way, if you are enjoying these Rome 2 battles, definitely take a moment to go down in the chat and the comments and thank Sol Invictus, because he's the one that got all this stuff started. He sends me a lot of these replays. He's inspired me to, you know, get back into this. He's gotten others of you sending in replays and stuff as well. So thank you. We appreciate him very much. Anyway, uh, I've got his channel linked in the description too, so feel free to go check it out if you need more Rome 2 action. Air Carthage, signing out for now. I'll see you all soon with some more action in Total War Rome 2.